Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. With praise ever in my mouth, let my soul glory in the Lord, who will hear the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord, let the lowly hear and be glad. The Lord listens to their pleas, and to hearts broken God is near. Who will hear the cry of the poor? The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord, every spirit crushed, God will save, will be ransomed for their lives, will be safe, shelter for their fears, and will hear the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here today on the Wednesday of the second week of Ordinary Time. We gather today seeking God's love a love that has already been given to us, a love that is eternal and unconditional. Our response to that great love should be to seek the Lord's forgiveness for our sins, for the times we have not loved God and the times we have not loved each other. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your servants to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the waiting and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling already to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he sized David up, he saw that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance. The Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Did I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then. The Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and smite heart, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, 
the God of the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today the Lord will deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus the whole land will learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude, too, shall learn that it is not by the sword or the spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David went quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine, David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with the sling, and it struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate to the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did not, and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him. With the Philistine's own sword, he drew it from his sheath. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to the kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue there was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before me. And then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save lives rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart jesus said to the man stretch out your hand he stretched it out and his hand was restored the pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the herodians against him to put him to death my brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ There are always those people in our world who like to watch others very closely. Not because they're interested in what that person has to say or what goodness that person can do. And many times they watch in order to trap them, in order to find something that they have done wrong, something that they then can use to exploit and to try to somehow put into other people's minds that that person is not good, that person is evil. You know, with the advent of social media today, that has become so prevalent that people just love to take pictures and videos and try to embarrass people, oftentimes finding them when they're angry or oftentimes when they find themselves in a hostile situation. 
And it's really easy to criticize someone else when you're not involved in a situation. And it's really easy to just to look, to somehow to destroy or to discredit another person. Things have not changed, have they, from the time of Jesus? For that is what was happening to him by the Pharisees, the religious leaders of the day. They were concerned that he would heal someone on the Sabbath. Now you would think healing was something that was filled with compassion, something of great love, someone that gave someone another chance. But not to the Pharisees, because Jesus was getting, they were looking to see if he would heal on the Sabbath, which was a day when you could not do work. And yes, healing was considered work. And they would violate the third commandment. Thou shalt keep holy the Sabbath day. So, of course, Jesus, to show the world that he is filled with compassion, Jesus, to show the world that he is Lord of the Sabbath, he cured the man with a withered hand. He allowed him to become whole again. Now, you know, someone who has a withered hand probably could not work very well, if work at all. And so then they would have no means of support. So it was vital that his hand be cured so that he could provide for himself and his family. It wasn't a cosmetic healing. It was a healing that was necessary for this man's survival. And Jesus again shows us his compassion. But what was the response? Instead of the Pharisees giving glory to God, giving thanks to God for this wonderful event, they go and, as the scripture said, took counsel with the Herodians. Herodians were those followers of Herod, who of course was not very religious at all. They took counsel so that they can put him to death. The Lord today invites you and I to be people of compassion. And that when people do things, when they do things out of goodness, let's not be filled with jealousy, but instead to be filled with love, to be filled with forgiveness, to be filled with God's Holy Spirit. We now turn to the Lord our God and ask him to hear the prayers that we now offer. We pray for all members of God's holy church. May the Lord give us strength and courage in our mission of spreading the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world and our national leaders. May God grant them wisdom and patience in striving for a more just society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, for an end to abortion and all hatred in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those whose lives have been ravaged by religious persecution or violence. May the peace of Christ uplift and sustain them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our virtual community of faith. May God provide healing and comfort for any burdens that we may carry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all the sick and the suffering of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all the faithful departed. May God welcome them into his loving embrace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all your needs, all your intentions that we bring to God today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and I unite myself wholly to you. 
never permitting to be separated from you. Amen. As we lift up our voices into one, raising all of our prayers to God our Father, let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving Father, hear the prayers we offer you today and answer them according to your providence. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. We proclaim your greatness, O God. Your